family and friends. For those of you that are new here, welcome. Uh, those of you returning, it's been a while and I apologize. We've got some things to update you on. So uh, buckle up because it's going to be a little bit of a ride. All right. So the last time we did a video, we had lost Vader um, and we were, we had a potential seller for the RV. And uh, the RV did sell as soon as the funds hit our account, Andy and I took care of business. And uh, right before all of that happened, our oldest daughter had been here and there had been conversations with our older daughter and her boyfriend. And that leads us into what's been going on the last couple of weeks. There was a conversation or two had with our oldest daughter and her boyfriend about how cheap land was in Arkansas. Now keep in mind, uh, when I say that Andy and I took care of business when the funds hit our account, we had plans. We had immediate plans to finish the fencing on this property, uh, that way our birds could free range, possibly put in an above ground pool for the boys, uh, start bringing in dirt and composting material to start um, prepping the land for our farm or our uh, garden in the spring, uh, finish up some of the other projects that we had going on and uh, then see where we stood before moving forward on other projects. And then things took a turn. Uh, one of the conversations that we had with our older daughter and her boyfriend was about land being cheaper in Arkansas. And I don't know if I already said that, so please just bear with me because there's so much. So we started looking and we found one with 33 acres. So we loaded up the car. Now, it was, we didn't just load up the car. We talked to the real estate agent. We poured over the photos. We did a video walkthrough with the real estate agent, but I didn't want to buy anything sight unseen. So we loaded up the car, the boys, the dog, and off we went. Uh, it was a 19 hour round trip. No, we did not stop, stop overnight anywhere. Andy drove the whole way. It was eight hours there, eight hours back. We had three hours in stops and seeing the house. When we got there, we did not realize how much in disrepair the house was, especially at the price point that it was. Um, the pictures looked a lot better than the house did in person. Plus there was a little bit of an odor of urine and potential foundation issues. Uh, the 33 acres was something that would have been really nice, except 90% of it was treed. So we would have had to do that. There was a pond on the property. There was some, let's just say, it wasn't what we were looking for. Now, normally Andy and I on the way back would have been really upset, upset that, you know, we weren't warned what we were walking into or, you know, we wasted the trip and we drove all this way and rah, 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 but we weren't in that headspace. It actually, we learned a lot. Like we had done all the research on, you know, having a company come in and selling your lumber that's on your property. It's about from our research and this is loose numbers you know, nothing in concrete, but it was like $2,000 an acre. But by the time you cleared that acreage and fenced it and prepped it for um, livestock, you were looking at money out of pocket. You, it would have taken all the money that you would have made from clearing your timber and then some, which, okay, fine. But I have a home that we have a home that we completely remodeled in the last year and a half. We've put over $100,000 into this house. So our whole thing when we, we talked about, oh, if we're going to look at houses, this is what our goals are. Either the land needs work and the house is great, or the house needs work and the land is great. But I didn't want both. So before we you know did fencing and, and prepped for the garden and everything else, let's take a look. Let's, let's do this. You know, there's also another thing that was kind of pushing us to do this right now. And that is one of our other children might be moving wherever we are in the next year. And we want to make sure that we make this decision now and not when they've already made the move or they were about to move. So we looked everywhere from North Carolina, South Carolina, I, everywhere except for Florida, which is really weird because we really wanted Florida when we left Idaho. And as far as as close as we got was Mississippi. And then we ended up in Texas. Um, but we looked in Texas, we looked at the idea of building. My only problem with building is now you're waiting for contractors and we haven't had that great of experience with contractors. Uh, plus 
if there's no um, utilities, then you've got the cost of, of bringing the utilities to where you're going to build the house. You have the, the, the weight for building the house. Plus, there's no outbuildings. There's no fencing. There's none of that done either. So we started looking at houses. And like I said, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee, Alabama, Mississippi, Texas, Oklahoma. Um, we found six potentially good properties in Oklahoma. So Andy and I took the trip. And uh, yeah, there was two houses that we really, really liked. One, the house needed nothing. It was good to go. And, but it had a little bit less land and it required some fencing would need to be done and um, a few little things. The other house had 20 acres, not 13, and uh, there's a little project, there's a couple of little projects that the house needs, uh, but the land doesn't need much at all. Uh, really big, really cool thing is it's got a shop on the property and uh, it's got a 360 pasture, so other than the driveway, we've got lots of potential for either separating paddocks or them just having the whole 20 acres. So it's really cool. We went and looked. Um, we did strike a deal and sign a contract last Thursday, but the contract didn't become official until Friday because they had a contingency with a kickout clause, meaning somebody else wanted to buy the house, but they were waiting for their house to sell. Now, one of the things that Andy and I did do before we even started looking is we found a mortgage lender that we liked. Now there was one company that we had used in the past um, that we had contacted and started the process with them until I found out that they were going to charge us 1.4% higher than other places and charge us a loan origination fee. We had used them. This I think this would have been the third time we had gone through them and uh, it really upset me because they advertise towards veterans. So we hadn't had this issue in the past. I, I did check and they were very competitive. I don't remember if they had a loan origination fee, but they were very competitive in the past. They are no longer competitive. I'm not doing business with somebody who markets towards a certain demographic, make sure they gain the trust of the public and then turn around without notifying or without us knowing start charging us above and beyond. So we found another lender, love our, our uh, mortgage guy. He's on top of it. He is very responsive. Uh, but what we did was we made sure that if we were, if we did find something, we wouldn't have to be contingent on our house selling. And there's a few reasons for that. One, we don't know what the market's gonna do. Like we could sell tomorrow or it could take three months to sell. The other issue was our livestock. No, we are not selling our livestock. We are taking them. Yes, all 50 chickens. All of the chickens are going. The goats, the Jersey Mike's going. Frank and Beans, they're going. Like everybody's going with us. So we wanted to make sure that we closed on the new house before we would close on the old house because that gives us time to get our livestock transferred, not just transferred. Like we have to build a new chicken coop. Um, we've got to build a new run because you can't, I can't just take them there and let them free range. They're not going to know that that's home. It, it, like we, we've got to make sure that we've got a space where they can be until they, they get comfortable with knowing that this is home. So there's, we needed a little bit of a buffer. Um, and we also needed to know that we weren't going to go above and beyond what we could afford if we had to carry two mortgages for say six or seven months. We hope it doesn't end up that way. And we do have other options. We can Airbnb the house. We can rent it out. But we didn't want to be contingent. We didn't want to find a house that we really liked and have a kickout clause where, you know, we get a month after agreeing on a price. Somebody else comes in and says, I can, I can close within 30 days. We still don't have a buyer for our house. They send the kickout clause and we've just lost the house that we liked. So we should close on the house in the next 30 days. Now, of course, this is life. Not everything is certain. Not everything is guaranteed. This could fall through for one reason or another. And we are very, very much aware of that. So we're trying to temper our excitement. 
Uh, but y'all, we might be moving. So excited. We love the land. Now, here's the thing. I love how God works on us. Um, the home that we live in right now, I, if you've noticed in some of the videos, like we've got some really cool features in our home. Um, all new flooring, all new paint. The kitchen's brand new. I mean, our island is 10 feet wide by like four and a, four and a half feet deep of granite. Like our that kitchen is beautiful. Uh, the bedrooms are pretty big, all three of them. Uh, we have an office area. The new house isn't that. Uh, it's a little outdated. The bedrooms are smaller. The bathrooms are considerably smaller. There isn't an office. Uh, but the living room's huge. The kitchen is small and outdated. In the past, that would have bothered me because the kitchen is my thing. I, I you know, you get so caught up whenever, you know, you're looking at, at houses to rent or to buy, you know, or you're thinking about something that you might build in the future and, and you always think of your dream house, your dream kitchen for me. And, you know, listen, the one that I've got right now checks all the boxes. It's pretty cool. But that house, there is more future in that house. There is more, uh, that property, more in line of what we've been led to do. So, yeah, it's got smaller bedrooms. So what? You just sleep in them. Yeah, it's got a smaller kitchen. So what? I'll learn how to work around it. Not a big deal. I've, I've had smaller kitchens. I've had bigger kitchens. It's amazing how God works on our hu humility, our humbleness, how we see things, our anger, our frustration. You know, I mean, if you if this conversation makes you uncomfortable, like it shouldn't because the channel is called All Glory Farms. And that is because we do give all glory to God. And farms, you know, we put an S on the end of it in case, I don't know, in the future, one of the boys uh, got a farm and, you know, we, we'd have the family farm and showing that. But now we get to share with you guys taking one farm, going to the next one, and we are going to expand. We are going to get bigger and we get to share all of that with you. We get to share the move. We get to share you know, the, the, the growing pains. The only reason we didn't, we didn't share like the house hunting part is we didn't want to take you guys on the roller coaster. It, it's, you know, sometimes it's discouraging and, or frustrating or, and the other thing too, is we don't want to be one of those channels that when you read our headline or you see the thumbnail that's on that episode, you're expecting something else. And we yank that out from underneath you. We don't want to be clickbaity. We want you to know that what what we tell you is going to happen or what we name it is we're not dragging you along. We're not going to disappoint you in the end. Um, over the years, I've watched plenty of uh, content creators that have channels that they give you this big headline. Oh, you know, blah, blah, blah. So you think that something's going to happen. You watch all 30 minutes of it and that's not what happened. And, and you feel like you have the rug pulled out from underneath you. So we didn't want to do that to you guys. Like, I, I didn't want you guys to think, well, oh, they're going to move. Oh, no, they're not going to move. Oh, they're, oh, it's Arkansas. Oh, it's Oklahoma. Oh, it's Texas. Like, we didn't want to do that to you guys. We wanted to share the good news when there was good news to share. So with that said, <laughs> please pray for us because in the next 30 days, you know, listen, anything can happen when you're buying a house. So nothing is, is final until you sign that dotted line. In the meantime, we have a lot to do on our end. Uh, we met with our realtor. We are still in the in a pretty good situ situation time frame. Uh, okay, Blech. let me start that over again. We are in a pretty good uh, seasonal time to still put our house up on the market. We haven't quite missed the high time. Um, and the, the market has gone up in our area, so we might recoup maybe maybe a good chunk not all but maybe a good chunk because remember now we have to pay closing costs you know all that kind of jazz but we have a lot to offer the person that buys our house you know I, I there's a lot that we've done to this property 
not just the inside. We've done a lot to the outside and it has potential to make for people to make it whatever they want to make it. They can turn it back into horse property. They could turn it into the type of farm we were doing or they could leave it completely open and not farm at all, not have any livestock at all. Completely up to the next owner, but we look forward to the next person enjoying what we've worked so hard to make it so far. Um, trying to think of anything else like update wise. Like I was, it's gonna do a video cause oh, it's not gonna come off. But that's stupid to put it where I put it. I, I was gonna show you this. So this is a pop socket that is like, it's, it's uh, <laughs> let me see if I can get my English going. Um, this is magnetic and I got a new case that allows me to take this on and off, which means I can, uh, have my phone centered on my mount. Um, I'm still, I'm getting closer to remembering where the camera lens is. So I'm not talking over here. I'm talking over here, which whatever, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I got a new tripod, like there was some stuff that I was gonna do little videos on, but there was so much going on and like this is such big news. And like the other thing too is yes, we did sign the contract on Thursday. It wasn't official until the kickout clause was signed by the other parties Friday. But we also took the weekend to let our close family and friend friends know uh, what was going on so that they didn't learn about it on social media. Uh, if we missed any of you, we apologize. It wasn't intentional. But yeah, so uh, a lot of moving and shaking going to go on in the next 30 days. We have this whole house to declutter. Uh, first thing we have to do is declutter, um, take a lot of things out. We're going to get a storage unit, get a lot of things out of here. S there's some projects that need to be finished in the house before we can even list it and then list it hope we set it at a really good price point and get interest right away if not in like a week or two weeks if there's not been any interest then we got to read you know discuss price again um there's just a lot like we need to do a little bit of landscaping some cleanup some you know getting some of this stuff put in a storage so it's not here because certain people when they see things on a property they think it's going to stay uh the shack mother-in-law suite whatever you want to call it that's got to get cleaned out. Um, the other thing that we have to consider is whether or not the next people are going to even want a chicken coop. If they don't, what are we going to do with the run? What are we going to do with the coop? So there's a lot that's going to happen over the next, I would, I, you know, I keep saying 30 days, but man, over the next couple of months. And now that we know that for the most part, we know that we have a direct path and which direction that we're going in. We're not going to North Carolina, South Carolina, Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama. We're not staying in Texas. We're going to Oklahoma. Um, we will be doing a lot of videos and trying to keep you up to date on everything going on. So please forgive us for the big gap. Uh, I appreciate those of you who reached out and you know just made sure that we were okay, letting us know that you missed seeing our videos. That, that's awesome. We really appreciate it. And as always, in every video, I gush over y'all. We appreciate all the support. We appreciate the kindness, the help. If you see something that we're talking about doing or you, uh, whatever, over this, you, if you've got suggestions, please leave them in the comments, leave them on our Facebook page, our TikToks. Like we're going to try to keep doing more of those. Um, but if you, if you've got suggestions, we're all ears. We, you know, we've moved a lot over the years. I mean, Andy's 22 year retired military. I'm ex military, ex dependent spouse. So, you know, we've lived in a lot of States, but most of our moves, the military moved us. Um, there was a couple between Washington and Idaho, close proximity moves. Yeah. They took a long time, but this is going to be our first move long distance. Um, now we don't have as much stuff as we used to. Thank God we got rid of 90% of what we owned when we lived in, when, when we sold our house in Idaho. And so we only have what was in the RV, what was in the pod and what we've gained over the last year and a half. 
what we've gained over the last year and a half is a lot. It is, but it's nowhere close to what we used to have. So yeah, there's going to be packing videos. There's going to be moving videos. There's going to be, you know, all sorts of stuff. Ooh, and the new house is on a well and on a septic. So we're excited about that too. Uh, 20 acres. We don't have you know, real close neighbors and we are going to miss our neighbors here. We have got really amazing neighbors on both sides of us. And, you know, as much as we are going to miss them, I'm going to love knowing that my chickens aren't going to bother the neighbor. Or if my dog gets past my fence, they're not going to bother the neighbor. So it's, it's bittersweet. You know, we're leaving some friends down here that we really truly enjoy being around and you know, we, we love them very much. Uh, we're leaving the beach. Not that we went a lot, but you know, it is a plus with living down here and we're not going to be in Texas anymore. And that's, that's also, you know, we're going to miss that. So yeah, pretty sure I've babbled on long enough for y'all. I mean, so yeah, that's the news. We're going to move. We're going to move. We're going to live in Oklahoma. We do have some friends that we're really excited about moving closer to up in Oklahoma. So that's going to be really neat. Um, yeah, hold on to your seats. The adventure's just about to begin. You know, all glory to God. You know, just when we think that, yeah, we love our farm and this is where we're going to be for a really long time. Something comes along and says, wait a minute. Now I got other plans for you. So we couldn't be more grateful. And uh, speaking of grateful, we're grateful for every single one of you that keeps up with us and supports us. We just, we're very grateful people. Anyway, I think that's probably good for now. Oh yeah, one more thing. We're up to an average of 17 eggs a day. Yay, we're almost, because I think once they're all, you know, laying on a regular basis. I think our average should be about between 28 and like 35 out of 45 hens. So yeah, we're, uh, we're getting there. That's pretty cool. All five roosters are now crowing. Um, and they get along, they're not attacking each other. So we're very fortunate there, but we haven't hit the six, six month mark yet. Uh, uh, with Barry, we have Barry and leisure suit, Larry. Um, the other three, they should be hitting six months. Oh yeah. Here in a couple of weeks. No, September, September, there'll be six months. So we got a little bit longer. So yeah. Um, but yeah, so everything's, uh, doing really good. Hopefully in the next couple of days, we'll have a video for you. Uh, we're going to learn how to shear sheep. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Anyway, so that's how it is. We, uh, again, thank you guys for tuning in. If you're new here, hope you stick around. Hope to see you again. And, uh, as usual, all glory to God. And we hope you have a blessed day. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon. <laughs>